हेलो एवरीवन वन रात्र को भाव में कैन आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू अनादर एपिसोड ऑफ कोर्ट्स दिस वीक ऑन लाइव लॉ वेर वी अपडेट यू अबाउट ऑल द इम्पॉर्टेंट लीगल डेवलपमेंट्स दैट टुक प्लेस अक्रॉस द कंट्री लास्ट वीक वी विल बिगिन विद डेवलपमेंट्स फ्रॉम द सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया एंड देन मूव ऑन टू हाई कोर्ट्स एंड अदर सबॉर्डिनेट कोर्ट्स इफ यू लाइक आर कंटेंट प्लीज डू नॉट फर्गेट टू लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल लेट्स बिगिन The Supreme Court Constitution Bench has by a 3 is to 2 majority upheld the validity of the 103rd constitutional amendment which introduced 10% reservation for economically weaker sections in education as well as public employment while justices Dinesh Maheshwari Bela M Trivedi and J.B. Pardewala upheld the 103rd constitutional amendment justice S Ravinder Bhatt wrote a dissenting judgment to strike it down former chief justice of india yu yu lalit concurred with the minority view of justice bhat the attorney general for india r venkatramani has sought more time for the filing of a comprehensive affidavit in response to the batch of petitions assailing the 2016 high value bank note demonetization the challenge is being heard by a constitution bench 6 years after circular was passed on november 8 2016 effectively rendering invalid 86% of India's legal tender the five judge bench comprising justices S Abdul Nazir B R Gawai A S Bopanna V Rama Subramaniam and B V Nagaratna expressed dissatisfaction with the adjournment request saying and I quote here normally a constitution bench never adjourns like this we never rise like this once we have started it is very embarrassing for the court In an important development the Supreme Court of India has ordered that 73 year old human rights activist Gautam Navlakha who was in custody in connection with the Bhima Koregao case be transferred to house arrest within 48 hours on account of his prevailing medical condition the order is interim in nature and will be reviewed after one month a supreme court bench comprising justices k m joseph and rishikesh roy noted that navlakka has no criminal antecedents and that he has been in custody since the year 2020 in an important development the supreme court of india has ordered the premature release of all six convicts in the rajiv gandhi assassination case the supreme court has ordered the release of convicts namely nalini sriharan p ravichandran jay kumar Robert Payas Santhan and Murugan who are currently serving life sentence in this particular case a supreme court bench comprising justices B R Gawai and B V Nagaratna passed this order today following the May 17th order releasing another convict in the case that is A G Perari Valan in the Ganwapi mosque case the supreme court of india has extended the interim order passed on May 17th whereby directions had been issued to protect the area where a shivling was reported to have been found inside the mosque premises during a survey conducted under the orders of the Varanasi Civil Court a bench comprising chief justice of India DY Chandrachur justice Surya Kant and justice PS Narasimha has extended the interim order until further orders in a significant development the supreme court of india has directed all states and union territories to complete the second round of counseling for neat pg 2022 to 2023 by november 16th 6 pm a supreme court bench of cgi dy chandrachur and justice hima kohli observed and i quote here in order to ensure finality in the process of counseling in neat pg we direct all states and union territories to finish second round of counseling at 6 pm on 16th november and submit data on the same to mcc in the latest development the supreme court of india has issued notice to the union law secretary on a petition filed over the delay in clearing the names approved by the supreme court collegium for appointment as judges While considering this particular matter a Supreme Court bench comprising justices Sanjay Kishan Kaul and AS Oka came down heavily on the central government for withholding the names which has already been approved by the Supreme Court collegium Importantly the Supreme Court bench also observed that in this particular case where the 11 names have already been reiterated by the collegium the center has kept the files pending 
without giving either approval or returning them stating reservations and that such practice of withholding approval is unacceptable in nature. The Supreme Court of India has suspended the sentence of six months imprisonment imposed by the Madras High Court for contempt of court on YouTuber and activist Savuku Shankar. A Supreme Court bench comprising Justices Sanjay Khanna and J.K. Maheshwari issued notice to the High Court on Shankar's special leave petition. The bench further directed that until the next date of hearing, Shankar shall not make any videos or comments regarding the court proceedings. It was on September 15th, in fact, that the division bench of the Madras High Court, that is the Madurai bench, had convicted Shankar for criminal contempt of court for his remark that the entire higher judiciary is riddled with corruption in an interview given in a YouTube channel. The division bench has subsequently refused to suspend the sentence following which he was taken to the Madurai jail. In a significant development, the Gujarat High Court has taken suo moto cognizance of the Morbi Bridge collapse that took place on October 30th and has claimed 134 lives so far. A High Court bench of Chief Justice Arvind Kumar and Justice Ashutosh Shastri called this disaster where hundreds of citizens had died an untimely death disheartening and then proceeded to take sumo to cognizance of the matter. The state has been ordered to file a status report by next Monday. The State Human Rights Commission is also ordered to file a separate report. The matter is now listed for hearing on November 14th. The Delhi High Court has held that all the candidates belonging to reserved categories, as notified by presidential order in any state or union territory, would be entitled to reservation benefit in Delhi subordinate services. A division bench of the High Court comprising Justice Vibhu Bakru and Justice Amit Mahajan was dealing with a bunch of petitions filed by candidates belonging to scheduled caste as well as the scheduled tribe category who had appeared for interview for the post of court attendant or room attendant group C in the High Court but were subsequently not recommended for appointment for not submitting any proof of being an ordinary resident of the city of Delhi. The Allahabad High Court has dismissed a criminal appeal filed against the order of the special CBI court at Lucknow that acquitted all 32 persons including prominent BJP leaders LK Advani, Murli Manohar Joshi, Uma Bharti, Kalyan Singh etc who were all accused of hatching the criminal conspiracy behind the demolition of the Babri Masjid Mosque on December 6, 1992. A division bench of the High Court comprising Justice Ramesh Sinha and Justice Saroj Yadav dismissed the appeal after reserving the judgment on October 31st. The Bombay High Court has said that former Chief Executive of the ICICI Bank Chanda Kocha's retrospective termination from the bank in 2019 is a prima facie valid termination while discussing her interim application in her suit against the bank. A single bench of Justice Riyas Chagla observed that Kochar had not come to court with clean hands. In the interim order, the court also restrained Kochar from dealing with ICICI's 6,90,000 shares which she had acquired through stock options between October 4th and December 11, 2018. The court also directed her to disclose all her transactions while dealing with the stocks on an affidavit within a period of six weeks. Observing that assets which may have been obtained by the commission of a scheduled offence cannot be accorded exemption or immunity from the rigours of the PMLA, the Delhi High Court has ruled that provisions of the Money Laundering Act are not subservient to the moratorium provision comprised in Section 14 of the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code of 2006. Justice Yashwan Varma said that PMLA seeks to subserve a larger public policy imperative and is an enactment representing a larger public interest. Thank you. Keep watching Quotes This Week on Live Law for more such updates. See you next week.